Hey, what's up guys, Ninetoes here, and today I want to share with you a little-known third-party application called SPL Editor. Uh, and the purpose of this um, application is to basically help you um, hack your level.dat file. Uh, and I'm usually an individual that will tell you, you know, not to. Uh, and the reason being is because it can obviously screw with your experience and your, well, your game save. So, uh, gotta say it up front, up first, that uh, no matter what you do, always, 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 you should be backing up your, uh, you know, your save folder anyway uh, as a just in case. But this is for basically those of you that, uh, you know, want to get some hard to find items that you probably otherwise would either wouldn't get or it would be way too hard to get for you. Um, and maybe a couple of other other tips and tricks that maybe you didn't even think about uh, were you know possible in a single player uh, experience with Minecraft. So with that said, you know again I've messed with it, loved it, and uh, just want to share my experience with you. So yeah, here we go. All right, first up is a friendly public service reminder: always back up your stuff. So here I'm on my Mac, and I'm going to show you where exactly here in your saves folder. Uh, is where your uh, individual world data is stored. So here I have the one that you see before you. Uh, and the most critical thing that you're gonna obviously have inside this folder is this file called the level.dat file. This is where your position, all your stuff, etc., is stored on. So, uh, but it's not just enough to save this one file. What you really wanna do is save the entire folder. Uh, so put that on a flash drive or just somewhere else. If you've got multiple worlds, I only have one as you can see, but if you have multiple, highlight them all and save them somewhere safe where if you need to revert back to it, obviously you can. If you make a mistake, you have lost everything. So just a friendly reminder. Let's have a closer look at the user interface of the program. So again, it's a third party application that you can download. This one is Java based for my Macintosh. Uh, again, I got to cover it. It is available for a PC and uh, it does work obviously on Linux as well too. Here I have my one world and it's the only world I do have. So, but it, the point is, is that you can drop down, drill down and select whatever other world that you do have uh, in your current uh, save folder. So has the seed number that I'm using. This was just a random one I just chose. Um, but I can, if you, this is, you know, cool if you forgot the number, forgot, or don't know how to use F3 to find it uh, or, you know, whatever. At any rate, also now your position in uh, the overworld, uh, in the nether, or in the end, and your X, uh, X, Y, and Z coordinates in those worlds. If you really felt adventurous and wanted to kind of, you know, uh, hit any one of them up uh, other than your overworld, Go for it. It's it's your choice. Here you can cho you can choose to edit your original spawn. This is where you first 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 spawned in the game, and you can edit it to basically your home if you wanted it to. So uh, you can also modify the weather. If it's currently raining, you can turn it off. You can up the number of minutes until the next rain. Uh, pretty handy. Obviously, change the day, the time, sunrise, sunset, etc. Which again is is pretty cool too. If you're just trying to um, survive and get through the night and just make it instant you know instantly day so here i can now modify and go full or max out my health my hunger um and my at the very bottom my xp this was the real reason why I actually i jumped into this to be quite frank and found this uh, program was because of xp because i started enchanting a lot of my uh, weapons and what have you so uh, but again I, i'll give you a demonstration of that in just a quick second um, then to the right, I can modify, since my current world right now is on survival, I can also skip ahead uh, to hardcore if I really wanted to, or you only got that one life to live. Um, not to sound like a soap opera, but, or I can go into creative mode. And there's some actually pretty cool benefits into doing so to going into creative mode. So, uh, which I'm about to show you, but I'm going to bump up my XP, go to creative, and then we'll jump into my world in just a second. So one of the things you might be interested in doing is learning how to bump up your XP so that you can enchant um, your weapon. So let's have a quick look. First, you got to get out of the current world that you're in. So quit and save the title. Uh, the reason for this is that it saves, obviously, your level DAT file. Now that you're going to modify it, it'll rewrite it for you. Uh, so that when you do go back in, uh, it, the, the mod will work. If you do it in game while you're playing, you have a very, very high chance that it'll screw it up and you've basically messed up everything, especially if you haven't uh, backed up. So here I quickly bumped myself up to 250 XP. Uh, and, you know, again, you can clearly see where this can go. You can do it as many times as you want and go as high as you want. 
All right, now I want to show you guys teleporting. And I'm going to go from my main or normal home to a secondary home that I've set up. Uh, usually I go here for, uh, you know, cave exploration uh, if I'm looking for slimes or, you know, it, the point being is that obviously it's another part of the map that uh, would take uh, a good part of the day for me to get to. So uh, here I can just quickly edit it and go right into it. And boom, I'm there in a matter of a couple clicks. So you can kind of see where I'm going with this, whether it's uh, the overworld, uh, the nether, or even the end uh, if you want to kind of you know skip yourself ahead or teleport you can obviously edit it to spawn there all the time uh, etc etc um, and again if I need fast fast access to something I've got stored over there you know I can get there quick and again huge 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 help um, and just again it, it very handy if you're new to Minecraft, here's a quick tip for you guys. Uh, to find your X, Y, and Z coordinates, all you gotta do is press F3 on your keyboard. It's already built into the game. So quickly snap it, and you can obviously see right before you on the screen there, uh, all the information, uh, of course, on the game, the performance, the CPU usage, and memory usage, your frame per second, etc. Uh, but F3, that's your magic hot button to find your X, Y, and Z. Just jot them down, and uh, you know, you'll be able to never get lost again. Or, again, use the editor to find your way to another place on the map. Now I'll show you how to hack your uh, level, your world, from survival mode to go into creative mode and why you'd even want to do so. So here I'm out of the uh, the game and uh, I'm going to now switch to, to uh, creative and go back into my world. And the first thing you'll see is, is that my uh, uh, my items above my hotbar are gone and of course I'm also flying. Um, but you know my health bar is gone, uh, my hunger bar is gone, but it still is my world. So if you wanted to do this in any other, well, without a hack or a mod, uh, you'd have to create two worlds: you know, your survival and your creative. So, uh, and again, as you can see, the inventory is obviously clearly different uh, in creative because everything is unlocked. So the cool thing about this is you can use this to uh, quickly, uh, you know, get things that you may just, in other words, if, if you want to kind of get it, you know, kind of cheat ahead uh, and, and, and get, let's say, for example, obsidian, or, or you want to do, um, you, I don't know, if you wanted to get a brewing stand or, or, or what have you, that uh, may just take, you know, a lot of time and effort that you just don't want to do and just kind of, you know, cheat a little bit, you can do so. So anyways, getting back into it. In my inventory, I'm going to just basically quickly, you know, pick out a couple of things uh, that, only exist, for example, in creative world, and maybe just a couple of things that I that I've been meaning to pick up. So, um, another tip is that you can shift click. So obviously, you know, on your keyboard, hit uh, and hold down shift while you click on an item, which will give you a full stack. Remember, not everything gives you a full stack of 64 items. Some of them are, you know, going to be, you know, 16 items. Um, so keep that in mind. Uh, that um, you know, if you do want to, obviously, kind of quickly get a you know a, a full stack of some items um, you know what you really want to do and keep in mind that when you're in creative mode you don't really necessarily want to interact with some of the other items I, I know that you just did a couple seconds ago where I opened up a chest full of uh, a block of diamonds uh, but you could it could cause more harm than good because if you break it you may cause problems for yourself so again you may have to do the backing up thing so uh, just the easiest thing to do is, is just put down a, a brand new chest, uh, as you saw uh, before you, that I just did before I got into my inventory. Uh, put down a brand new chest, select your items, and then put those items into that chest. Again, because remember, you're in creative mode, so uh, you're in a completely different mode. You don't want to screw this up. Put your items into the chest, and essentially what you're going to, you know, of course, do is go from now, from switching back from uh, creative mode and going back into survival mode, where you will have those items there waiting for you. So again, just a kind of a quick way if you want to obviously, you know, build something quickly, you want to uh, add on to something without having monsters mess with you, you can kind of see where the possibilities of this can go. So now I'm obviously in survival mode where you can see, you know, the health of my hunger bar there. And uh, I'm going to open up that chest that I just put down with my, you know, my brand new goodies that I can do whatever I wanted to do with them. So anyway, guys, that's really all, you know, about the software that I wanted to share with you. Uh, a couple of quick things if you're a single player, you know, person like myself and we'll just kind of wanted to, you know, get ahead and, and maybe not get lost, uh, you know, create some huge, huge, huge homes, you know, different possibilities. So uh, if you got any questions or anything else, uh, of course, down below in the comment section. Otherwise, take, check out the uh, description because there will be links uh, to everything I've just discussed uh, to help you guys out. So take care and we'll see you around the next one.